Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Todd Whitting from the head coach, the head baseball coach at the University of Houston. How's it going? It's going great, man. Thanks for having me on. It's be fun. So let's uh, let's talk about how these past few weeks have gone. How uh, how's the team done, and how ready are you guys to get going in this uh, this upcoming season? Well, I think everybody's excited. You know, especially after coming off a of COVID year where there were so many restrictions and limitations, and you know, especially in our our league where we played kind of a, a weird modified four game weekend set with no conf- no non conference games. You know, and we had no fans basically till the end of the year. So. You know, it's, it, things are back to normal. You know, we've got a beautiful brand new clubhouse here that this is the first year that we've actually <clears throat> had full access to it because of COVID. So, you know, things kind of feel back to normal. So let's talk about uh, who's going to be out for you guys this year. Kind of take me around the diamond, tell, tell me where, and tell our audience who's, uh, who's going to be out there uh, for you guys. Well, you know, I'm, ex- I'm excited about, you know, the new, the new guys we have in our program, but, you know, really excited about the leadership of our veteran players. You know, they they, you know, since day one back when we started summer workouts, kind of had a chip on their shoulder a little bit. You know, things didn't really go live up to our standard that we have with this program last year. So they take a lot of pride in the program. You had a couple of kids come back um, that could have signed and, and, and to go play professional baseball, but wanted to come back and play. So, you know, they've got they got a lot of riding on this season. But, you know, kind of going around, you know, from the catching position, uh, transfer Anthony Tulamero, um, you know, tra- uh, from transfer from Kansas, I think is probably going to get the start. Game one against Cal. Um, you got Dylan Post, who's a, a veteran player here. will back him up and see a lot of action back there as well. But two very capable guys um, behind home plate for us. Um, third base, Zach Arnold, transfer from LSU, um, was a regular player over there, um, you know, for the Tigers last season, has regional experience, NCAA experience. So he brings that to the team. I'm real excited about him. You'll see him hit kind of probably in the middle of the lineup. Um, Ian McMillan will be our starting shortstop. Um, Ian's a, fourth, a fifth year player here, you know, kind of did his time for a while, but actually walked on the program years ago, um, kind of, you know, got bigger, stronger and has earned his way into being our starting shortstop the last couple of years. And, you know, really the leader of our, our club, um, got a pretty good battle at second between Brandon Burkell and, uh, and Alex Lopez, um, to play there and Sky Trevino, um, played a little bit there for us last year. So we got a pretty good battle at second that one will, you know, get determined over the course of the next week or so. You know, returning first baseman Ryan Hernandez, who has, I think, in my mind, has a chance to be our conference player of the year. You know, really dynamic power hitter, hits for average and power. Um, had a great summer in the TCL a couple of summers ago, had a good summer last summer. You know, chose to come back to Houston this year for his last year. Um, you know, around the outfield, we got a lot of mix and match pieces. Sam Tormos will start in center. Um, had a great summer, you know, up in Amarillo and TCL. I think he hit 400 up there, almost won the batting title. Um, you know, and left and right, that's where we'll do a lot of platoon type situations there, you know, depending on who we're facing and, and who's got the hot hand at the time. And same thing with the DH spot, um, you know, from a pitching standpoint, um, you know, Jacob Deese is back. Um, you know, he's probably our best weekend guy that's back from last year's team. He actually had a chance to go play pro ball and turned out a pretty good signing bonus to come back. Um, he'll anchor that anchor that weekend rotation for us. <clears throat> a couple of Juco kids that I'm really excited about um, Logan Clayton out of Florida has been spectacular so far for us. Big six foot five power righty. Um, Kyle Lacalameto, another junior college kid from Florida, um, has also been well, a left-handed pitcher. Um, he was nicked up a little bit in the fall. We've seen him more this spring and, and so far has been surprisingly good. Um, Nathan Madrano, right-handed pitcher at a Temple Junior College, um, will be in the mix for the, for the weekend rotation as well. So, you know, there's four or five guys in there that uh, I think can, can vie for a starting job on the weekends. Um, you know, out of bullpen, Derek Cherry, our closer's back. Um, he's had a good campaign so far. And, you know, you had a couple, got Jose Toriaba um, is, is going to be a big piece for us. Kobe Casey returns from last year. You know, there's our depth and our pitching staff is really good. You know, it's, I can't say that on our offense. I think we're really talented offensively. We just have to stay healthy. But from a pitching standpoint, this is maybe as deep a pitching staff as we've had. When you look at the American Conference, where do you think you guys are at in terms of conference wide and going back to playing I feel like I'm talking to big 10 coaches but uh non-conference opponents being able to play them again well I think I think last year you didn't get a really good look at what the American was all about because we played those four game weekends I thought last year East Carolina was obviously a far and away better than everybody else but I thought like every year in our conference it's extremely even so when you play four game weekends you basically cannibalize the league you know nobody had a chance to build a resume an RPI because all we're doing is beating up on each other. You look at all those series and everybody's just beating up on each other. So it'll be good to get back to that. 
as far as how we stack up, I feel like we always stack up at the top. I and mean, we, I think we've won more league, more games in this league since it was formed back in whatever year that was. We've won five titles. Um, you know, this is a league that we've had a lot of success in. It's one of the best leagues in college baseball, and I don't expect it to be any different this year. So talking about talking about you guys for a second, where do you feel like the, if there's one area that you guys need to really improve on, where do you think that would be? I mean, our offense is a little um, – I'm not – you know, like I said, we just can't get hurt. I like what we're going to run out there, um, but we just don't have a lot of depth. We lost a couple kids for the year. Um, that we're projected starters for us. But the guys that we filled in with, I feel pretty good about. So, you know, I think new assistant coaches um, is going to be a big a big topic this year. Um, I, you know, Kyle Bunn comes to us from Middle Tennessee, Ross Kibber from the University of Tennessee, um, both very dynamic, very well respected. Kyle Bunn, you're talking about a guy that a journeyman pitching coach that's been at some of the best programs in the country at Middle Tennessee, Indiana, Clemson, Ole Miss, Alabama. You know, he's been all over the place, and, and he's, he's done a great job producing – great college pitchers and major leaguers. And then other in the spectrum, you got Ross Kivett, who um, was a great player in the Big 12, played a couple years of pro ball, and he's been on a tremendous staff at Tennessee the last four years with guys that I know really, really well. So those guys both are high energy. Um, they're, they're very demanding. They're very um, competitive. Um, and I think what they brought to the table this year has been, has been outstanding for our program. So kind of going into that, um... You had a pretty good schedule to uh, start off the year with. Sure, no doubt. Well, I mean, opening up in Arizona, you know, that's a regional type format right off the bat. And uh, this is the first time since I've been the head coach here that that we've opened the season on the road. We're always at home. But, you know, we had a great opportunity to go play in the MLB four tournament. Um, we had three great opponents out there. You know, Cal's going to have a great team this year. San Diego State year in, year out is good. And, of course, TCU um, is a great program out of the Big 12. So, I look forward to that challenge. Um, you know, the, the playing the Diamondback Stadium at, ta at Talking at Talking Sticks going to be Talking Sticks going to be a great experience for our kids. So, you know, with this new staff, you know, a decent amount of new players, it's kinda, I kind of like getting on the road and just kind of us being by ourselves for four or five days. All right. Well, Todd, thank you so much for coming on and talking about it and talking about your program. Good luck to uh, good luck to the Cougars this season. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me on. Have a good one.